Today we're debunking three of the most common myths in 3D printing. 3D printing has come a long way, evolving from a niche hobby to a mainstream tool that can be used for everything from DIY projects to advanced manufacturing. However, with any innovative technology, there are a ton of myths and misconceptions around 3D printing. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Make or Build It. Let's clear up some of the myths and misconceptions about 3D printing and get to the facts. Myth one, 3D printing is plug and play. The myth, many people think a 3D printer is like a household appliance. You take it out of the box, you plug it in, you hit print and you're good to go. Unfortunately, it's rarely that simple. The reality, 3D printing often requires a learning curve, especially for beginners even with printers from Bamboo Labs and Prusa that are easier to use. Most of the questions I actually get involve these printers. High quality printers may need initial setup adjustments. Factors like leveling the build plate, adjusting temperatures, calibrating for filament types, and understanding slicer settings all come into play. A successful print requires tuning various settings, such as temperature, the specific filament, design, and environmental factors. For example, even printers from Bamboo Labs and Prusa will benefit from initial setup. A lot of printers have built-in systems that help with bed leveling and even cleaning the nozzle before they start a print. Beginners may also encounter issues such as stringing, layer adhesion issues, bed adhesion issues that all require troubleshooting. Be prepared to spend some time learning and adjusting. Like with any new skill, it takes time, and so does 3D printing. Once you understand the basics, it's highly rewarding and it will save you a ton of frustration in the future. Myth two, all 3D prints are fragile. Many people assume 3D prints are weak, prone to breaking, and are just useful for decorative or prototyping projects. The reality is while some materials and settings may leave a 3D print prone to be fragile, 3D printed parts can be incredibly strong and durable with the right materials and right settings. FDM printers, for example, can produce parts that are very durable out of things like PETG, ABS, and polycarbonate. These materials are strong for functional parts. Even PLA, which is considered often weaker than the other materials, can be pretty durable with the right infill and wall settings. Resin printers are known for producing highly detailed parts, but with tougher engineering grade resin, you can produce parts that have impressive durability. Don't be afraid to use tougher filaments and resins for more robust parts. Special filaments like carbon fiber infused PLA and nylon are especially durable making 3D printed parts suitable for end use applications. Remember to always choose the right materials and settings for the intended use of your part. Myth three, it's probably the one you hear the most. 3D printing is too expensive. Many people believe that 3D printing is costly. With high prices for printers, filament, and other materials, making it out of reach for the average user. I know, I know, you're saying most of us that are into the hobby of 3D printing wind up spending way too much on this hobby and have way too many printers. And yes, I will tell you that is absolutely true. But let's get back to the myth. So what is the reality? While early 3D printers and high-end models of 3D printers were originally very costly, there are a whole new line of printers out there from various manufacturers that are actually pretty reasonable. Affordable and reliable printers like the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini, Creali Ender Series, Prusa Mini, and the Anycubic Cobra offer high quality prints for a fraction of the price of the original models. Beyond the initial cost, 3D printing can save you a lot of money over time, especially if you're using it for DIY repairs, creating custom tools, or unique parts that would otherwise be expensive or difficult to get. 3D printing allows you to create items that are tailored for your specific need, which often outweighs the upfront cost. And for those who are looking to get deeper into the hobby of 3D printing, an AMS is super useful. It can expand the creative possibilities without continually increasing cost. 3D printers can be affordable and offer value over the long run. Start with a budget-friendly printer and affordable filaments, and you'll soon see the cost savings potential of making custom items for yourself. 3D printing is a versatile and accessible technology that is far from what the myths would suggest. 
With the right knowledge, it could be a powerful tool for hobbyists and professionals. So if you're new to 3D printing, don't let these myths hold you back because they're just myths. I'll link some of the budget-friendly printers in the description below, as well as filaments that will help get you started on your journey. Remember to embrace the challenge, invest the time in learning, and you'll discover a world of creativity and possibilities in 3D printing. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making. Thank you.